with gyms, parks, and sometimes beaches as well, closed because of the pandemic. People are finding new ways to exercise. Now, let's look at how to stay fit in Maryland and in Hong Kong. Since COVID-19 spread across the U.S. in the beginning of 2020, Maryland, like other states, had to enforce rules for social gatherings, limiting how many people could occupy an area. Americans were told to stand six feet apart and wear masks. According to a study earlier in May at Iowa State University, physical activity was reduced by 32.3% among previously active participants were largely unchanged among previously inactive participants. All gyms had to initially close then were slowly allowed to reopen and reduce capacity. Many people were scared to head back out to the gym. Layla Simon from Planet Fitness in Salisbury takes safety seriously. The thing that I'm hearing most from people is that they were scared at first and then they came in and they saw that we were taking it seriously, um, that we were taking their health seriously and they now feel comfortable being here and entrusting us with not to be, you know, dramatic, but with their lives. And that's amazing. It's, it's an honor. Despite people feeling comfortable to go back to their gyms, online workouts have become the new trend. So we launched the Planet Fitness app um, last year, and we've been building um, workouts on the app, but we've expanded our um, online capacity. The app now has a ton of workouts available on it. The average person has had to adapt to their workout routine. And down slow. They started offering, I think probably about a month after they closed, they started offering all of our online or all of our fitness classes online. So you could pretty much zoom class your way into an online fitness class. Online workouts were positively received by some individuals. For me personally, it was just downloading apps at home. Uh, different apps every day, different workout routine. If you want to work on your arms, there was so many different exercises for that. If you want to do your legs or if you want to do your chest. While some gym members are curious to try new apps, others miss the sense of camaraderie that being in the same place physically offers. I definitely didn't enjoy the virtual workouts more. I don't really like virtual anything. Um, I'd rather be there because there's something about being motivated with other people around you. Like, no, I don't want to watch them work out, but because they're there with you, it's like, okay, everyone is either winded or everyone's struggling with me versus just me in my like living room dying. Americans seem to be adapting to the changes, but across the globe in Hong Kong, they have their own obstacles to overcome. Zoe Wei Xian tells us how the situation is there. Hong Kong is now in a fourth wave of COVID-19, starting from December 2nd. The number of persons allowed in group gatherings in public places will be tightened from 4 to 2. In Kowloon Thai Park, people were jogging without masks. You breathe in a lot of your own carbon dioxide. It's, it's difficult, very difficult to wear masks if you're jogging. Lecturer of PE department, Bill Lamb, gave some suggestions. Basically, doing, not doing exercise, but uh, try to stay active uh, when you stay at home. Uh, there is a lot of home chores that you can engage yourself in. Mopping the floor, clean the windows. He added that going to open space with fewer people is more suitable for doing exercise. Or sometimes they, they do exercise, sometimes not. Those are being affected most because uh, now it becomes uh, less convenient. Lam said that people who are determined to exercise will still make efforts for that. The pandemic had an impact on the whole society, including the fitness scene. While people in both Maryland and Hong Kong are still trying their best to exercise under such difficult circumstances. People who are serious about maintaining their workout routines are adapting to the pandemic and the changes it's brought. They continue to jog outside, try new workout apps, play tennis, and even do more cleaning around the house to stay physically active. From both sides of the globe, this is staying active in a world at standstill.